greetings and blessings in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As we meditate on the theme empowered creativity, I bring you a short message entitled At the Porter's House. And as I bring this message at the Porter's House, I'm inspired by a famous text which we find in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 18, verse 1 to 6. It says the following This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Go down to the porter's house, and there I will give you my message. So I went down to the porter's house, and I saw him working at the wheel. But the pot he was shaping from the clay was mud in his hands. So the porter formed it into another pot, shaping it as it seemed best to him. Then the word of the Lord came to me. He said, Can I not do with you, Israel? As this porter does, declares the Lord, like clay in the hand of the porter, so are you in my hand, Israel. At the porter's house. And at the porter's house, there are three things that we encounter. First of all, the porter. Secondly, the clay. And number three, the wheel. The porter, the clay, and the wheel. I thank God because he is God and God is the porter. God is the porter. We are the clay and the wheel is the place where he shapes us into what he wants us to be. I want us to know today that God is able to make something beautiful out of what we give to him. And when we give it to him, we let him have it at his hands and he makes it beautiful. He can pick clay that is formless and out of that clay produce a vessel of honor, something really, really beautiful. He can pick ashes and out of ashes create beauty. God is able to do that. And so God tells Jeremiah to go to the porter's house. And at the porter's house, he finds the porter. And I say the porter is God. God is able, God is the porter who has the design, he is the architect, and God knows what he wants to produce at the end of the day. He sends Jeremiah to the porter's house, and today he's sending you and me to the porter's house, and we find him there in the porter's house. You come as you are, you are the clay, your situation is the clay. You come as you are, you bring your situation as it is, and you find the porter who is God. Then God wants you to give your life and to give your situation to him and release it totally at the wheel, where his hands now shape, shape what you put at the wheel into what he desires to be. I want you to know that God has a wonderful plan for your life. In fact, the best plan, the, the finest design uh, for your life, for your finances, for your marriage, for your destiny is actually in God's hands. There are very, very many people who take their lives to the wrong places and they want to find happiness and joy and find something good coming out of it, but they end up worse and they end up beaten. But today I want you to know that God is the porter you are the clay and there is a wheel where he shapes you into what he wants you to be. And I invite you, just as you are, can just bring your broken pieces and your life just as you are to him and he'll turn it around uh, for good. And so I invite you to the porter's house and I ask that you allow the Holy Spirit to shape your life and your situation to what God wants it to be. God is a creator, he's creative and he wants to do something good with your life. Welcome to the porter's house. Release your life in the hands of the porter and God will make something beautiful out of your life. There's a song I like that says, Something beautiful, something good. All my confusion he understood. All I had to offer him was brokenness and strife. But he made something beautiful of my life. 
He made something beautiful of my life. God bless you.